Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp sets Forever Fern, my most favourite set. And I'm going to be using... Right, I've used that one, but I need to cut out another one of them, one of them and one of them. So that's them three there. And butterfly wishes and I'm going to be using the stamp set birthday wishes. I'm also going to use the large daisy punch to make my daisy and for the cardstock I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by four and one eighth no, start again. Eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth. Folded in half. I've got a piece of black at five and five eighths uh, by three and seven eighths. And a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters. Just go on the top. I've also got a piece inside. I've already done that. But if you watch my videos, you know I always put one inside and I've glued it in. I've got a piece of gingham rib uh, paper. I got this idea from Pinterest. Can't tell you who it was. And she used ribbon. I don't have any gingham rib yellow gingham ribbon. So I thought I'd use paper. And so I've got that out. This is half an inch thick by about six inches five inches maybe which I will put on there and wrap round so it looks like ribbon I've got some scraps of white for the daisy and the rest of these as I need to cut out these three stamp them and cut them out which we'll do and oh and I'm also using the dot tiny dot one from Forever Fern. So first of all, let's cut out these daisies. I need three. What? I don't think I'm going to get three out of this piece. Two. No, repeat that. Three. This always happens. Get it caught up. Right, so that's me got my three daisies. What we're going to do is sort these out first. So I've got some Daffodil Delight and a Dauber. Need a Dauber. Got my yellow one here. Um, let's have a bit of paper under this. And we're going to just brush off at least half the petals. I'm not worried about the middle being dark. I just want them like that. Like that, that's all I've done. Put that away. I'll leave that out because we want to stamp a yellow 
bubble leaf as I call it like that then we need to bring in old olive for the other leaves It's an old olive, is it? No, I didn't think so. Right, let me just go and get mossy. Oh no, that's basic grey. That is mossy meadow. Hmm, it is mossy meadow. It's not very dark. Not had this mossy meadow long, and oh, that's better. And I've had to re-ink it twice already. Just not pressing hard enough. So that's that done. rid of that, don't need that. Right, what we need to do is cut these out. So I want that one, that one, and that one. And this and these and the dies. The dies are forever, forever flourishing dies. So I need that one, this one, and right, there's two of these dies. Is it this one? Nope, it's this one. One bends down that way and one bends to the left. And I have to use the one that's bent to the right. So, put these on. Bit of tape. I did the draw last week for the um, giveaway and I haven't heard from Joan Orloff or Anne Morrison for their addresses to send their prizes to. The first prize went to Mel B who happened to be uh, someone I know and I asked, phoned her up to tell her that she won. She didn't want it. What she wanted me to do with it was to donate it to an elderly lady who took up card making during lockdown. She lives in a uh, warden controlled flat and the ladies in the establishment have started card making and Melanie who doesn't do card making anymore or crafting gave all her stuff to the place and asked me if I'd send the card, the stamp set to that place. So I said I would somewhere in Edinburgh. She lives in Glasgow. So that is what I'm going to do. 
Well, that's what I have done, should I say. I posted it yesterday. A lady who has started watching my channel, thanks to Melanie. Her name's Sheila McFarlane. Right, let's get... Oh, we've got to sort the daisy out next. Right, this seems that one's not a very good centre. I am going to put... Oh, I like that centre. So what I'm going to do is add that one to this one. Just crossing it over a little bit. And then I will add this one. Like that. And that will have a dimensional on the back of it. Like that. So that's that sorted. Right, let's get this sorted. This and I'll make sure I put this in the right place. Goes along there. So now I'm going to glue this down. good and then I'm just gonna fold it over how like you do with ribbon and then I'm going to glue it onto the basic black Right, I'm going to put my daisy on first. And I'm going to pop that right there. And then these I will glue in place. Now this one goes up there like that. I know you're going to see the stem to start with. I know what I haven't done. I'll do that now. This one goes just there, hides the stem. Just makes that longer. Right, I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to stamp the sentiment. This is going to go right there. Like that. Now then, a lot of people say that I'm brave doing it down like that after I started the card. I don't worry about it. If I mess that up, I will just stamp it on a piece of card and stick it over the top. So I don't worry if I don't stamp it straight or it doesn't stamp or anything because you can fix it so don't anybody worry if they mess up 
the card through stamping on it you can fix it you just cover it up with your sentiment on another card and stick it on dimensionals and just put it on top or even stick it over the top it looks better if it will be on dimensionals because that means it was done that was the way it was supposed to be if you stick it on top flat then the people might think oh she's made a mistake and covered it up or am I just being suspicious that's what I would think <laughs> right I've got one of the fat fleet leaves as I call them and I'm going to put that there and one of the yellow leaves in between them just there this fat leaf goes in there and the second yellow leaf goes there and then this one goes just under there And now, because I've got everything in place, I'm going to stamp my dots. Now it is only a little dot, so first of all I'm going to stamp them over my happy birthday. And then I'm going to stamp one there. One just there. If you noticed, I lift up the top of the flowers. Come off then, that was lucky. For some unknown reason, that doesn't like to stay on. Uh, one there. Right. I'll put another one there. And that is that completed. No, it's not. Right, I have got quite a big gem to go in the middle. It's a gold gem. I'll place some glue in the middle and pop a big gold gem on my daisy. And that is that card complete. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you press the bell button, or the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Don't forget to like and share. You know, let other people know what it's about. And all I can say is thanks for uh, watching and I hope to see you again soon. Yeah.